Adam Gase. The Athletics' uh, Dan Pompey had a story on him. Uh, August of 2013. Uh, every Tuesday when he was in Denver, Adam Gase met with Peyton Manning at 2 p.m., except this Tuesday when his wife Jennifer was delivering their son by cesarean section. Adam Gase told his wife to schedule the operation for 10 a.m. So they pulled the baby out of me and said it's a boy, Jennifer says, Adam Gase's wife. They didn't even put my organs back in, sew me up before he's like, you good? I said, yeah, I'm good. He said, all right, I'm out. Uh, they said, then you want to cut the umbilical cord to his son? He said, no, I'm good. At 2 p.m. on that Tuesday, Peyton Manning was stunned to find Adam Gase waiting for him in the meeting room. Manning, you got to be kidding me. Didn't your wife just have a baby two hours ago? Yeah, but did you really think I was going to let you win this one? Whoa. First baby, second baby, third baby? Is it? Does it say? Um, I don't know. It's uh, 2013. Mm. Uh, even if it's your second or third. I don't know how that goes, how well that goes over at the home office there. We, okay, if you if you deliver the child, and then I say, are you okay if I have to go back to work? But this is cesarean section, so there's surgery there, and that to me is just a little different there. Haven't, haven't been in and witnessed cesarean section, but I'm guessing you're having surgery. And they're taking things out to bring out a baby. I think you'd have to stay around a little bit longer than that. Yes, Eden. Yeah, like it sounds just like, oh, yeah, C-section. No big deal. But uh, No, it's like major surgery. Yeah. It's a really big deal. Yeah, I'm guessing. It's all a really big deal. I don't want to diminish any of it. But cesarean section, that's surgery. Yeah, Paul. Any chance that could backfire on a guy like that if Adam Gaze shows up and Peyton Manning goes, wow, this guy is... Maybe a little too tightly wound, a little too con concerned about football. Because yeah, like, what the hell's wrong with you, what, dude? I would be like that. I think when I hear this story, I think he's a total ass. Yeah. If, if you left your wife, well, moments after having a baby, I don't care if it's your eighth baby, and you're, unless you got the Super Bowl the next day, that's not the Super Bowl. Or the, or the Super Bowl that night. Yeah, then maybe. But even then. Um, but you hear about these stories with assistant coaches in football. No other sport. The NFL, you always hear about this. You have to stay. Get in there at 6 in the morning, and you leave at 11 o'clock at night. And uh, if you want to stay, we got a cot here for you to sleep. I go back to what the great Chuck Knoll told his coaches. And Tony Dungy was on his staff, and he said, Coach Knoll wanted you going home to be with your family. Do your work. It also helped that they had one of the great teams in the history of the sport. But, you know, go home. Be around your family. You're far more valuable to me when there is separation and you come back in. Yeah, Fritzy. I also wonder how much is passion for the game and being just crazed for football versus the insecurity that coaches must go through. Like they feel like they kind of have to do that because so they're, they're easily replaceable. They have to show what great employees they are to stay there all night. Well, he wants to impress Peyton Manning and he wants to be on his level. Uh, I was told Peyton gave him an assignment the night before, not this time, but gave him an assignment and came in the next day, and Adam Gase had basically a binder. Like he had created, it, he had answered everything Peyton wanted out of him. And I don't know if Peyton was testing him, but, you know, Adam Gase is probably the reason why he's become a head coach is because, you know, this attention to detail. Now, do I take issue with that? Yeah. On the outside looking in, yeah. I have a problem with Adam Gase going, you know what, I'm not even cutting the umbilical cord. Now, maybe that makes you squeamish. I don't know. Maybe that's why he didn't. But she just had surgery. That's where if I'm Peyton Manning, I would go, get back there. Go. Get back there. It's Tuesday. Get back there. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.